Okay, so here is my review of the True Blood product that HBO has released. Um, it just arrived today. It's on pre-order. It's still on the website marked as pre-order. Um, but anyone who pre-ordered it before, I'm guessing, this week will receive it probably today or within the next couple days before uh, the final episode of the season airs. Um, okay, so this is the drink itself. Not sure how well you can see it. Um, it is kind of murky, sort of an orangey, reddish color. It tastes disgusting. I'm sorry. This is just my personal review. Um, and I know that a lot of people have tried it and liked it. It's way too sweet for me, for my taste. I really I don't like it. It has a really weird aftertaste that sort of like, I don't even, I don't even know how to describe it. It sort of stings. Almost like citrus has that sort of like bite, but in a bad way. Um... Hi, cat. Um, and so I just, I'm not a big fan. I really, I don't like the taste. Now, however, the bottles are beautiful. They are red glass the way that they are supposed to be. Either that or they're painted. I can't really tell, but I'm not even going to bother trying. Um, I really, really like them. Really, really like them. And the only thing I don't like is that here at the bottom, it says blood orange rather than blood type. Um, which is what it says on uh, the actual label. This is what the back label looks like. Now, if you've ever seen any production stills uh, from the set of True Blood, that isn't what the back label looks like at all. Um, on, not the ones that they use for the, the show anyway. Um, the labels are slightly metallic, which is very cool. Um, the bottles do say True Blood in, in the glass, and it has the Japanese up at the top, or I'm not even sure, it might be faux Japanese. Um, this is the coolest thing, I think, though, is the carry pack that has all four, bo all four bottles in it. Um, I really, really enjoy this. I think that's probably the coolest thing ever, because now it actually feels like a real product and not just something that comes like, here, here's a bottle. Um, this is the box that the, the bottles, the, the four pack comes in, which is, even in and of itself, collectible. I really like it. So... How does it stack up to the bottles that I made? Because any of you who've seen my video on how to make True Blood, I'm not showing myself right now because I look like ass today. Um, this is my bottle and this is the official bottle. The official bottle is slightly more plump and it doesn't have this at the bottom, although I think the ones that they had in the original ads did. I could be wrong. Um, it actually has the True Blood etched everything here. Um, their labels are slightly, slightly metallic, but you can see very, very, very close to the uh, original design. The other downside, I think, to, uh, to HBO's official product, um, besides price, price is a little bad, but honestly, you get this box, you get the pour pack, you get the bottles. Even if the drink tastes gross, it's still very, very collectible, in my opinion. Um, and for 19 bucks, you're getting something that you keep on your shelf, and I know that most of you out there who actually will watch this video are going to be fans of this show for a very long time, or, or fans of the books like myself. So, it's a good product. Um, I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, in any case, I really like it. Oh, the other downside, that's what it was. Um, is that HBO's only comes in type O and type O positive. And I'm not particularly happy with that. Yay, it's a universal donor blood type, whatever. Um, I don't have type O blood. I have type A, so I would much rather drink type A. And I know several of you out there would rather drink your blood type as well. So that's my review of True Blood, the official drink. Um, I don't know if you want to see me pour this because I'm not going to drink it. It has a very, it's very red. Oh, and it stains. It got, I got some on my counter earlier, and it left red marks, and I had to use bleach to get it off. So that's not fun either. But um, Vamp Vodka does the same thing. So in any case, I highly recommend it. It's worth it to, to pay the 19 bucks with shipping if you're in the U.S., um, or if they do ship to your country. It really, it, it felt very official opening the box. Um... And I just, I think it's a very, very cool product. So I say get it, either drink the drink or throw it out, save the bottles, and fill it with whatever you want. 
preferably my recipe, but you can make up whatever you want. So that's my review. See you later.